Well, hello everyone, hello. It's uh, not officially summer yet, but warm weather is here. I don't know if you can hear it, the dehumidifier is running in the other room, going whoosh. But uh, I have a patch going and you can also hear that. I was contemplating getting rid of my make noise pressure points because it uh, I don't use it all that much and after getting the uh, this thing the 16 as a voltage source the pressure points seemed even less necessary but there wasn't anything that I really wanted to get to fill the 20 HP hole that would be left behind. So uh, what I did instead was move, shift some things around, and I got me a brains module to turn the pressure points into a sequencer. And now all of a sudden it's useful again. That's only four steps. But I was thinking that I could use these VC switches over here to take two of the rows and then switch back and forth and I could have eight or even 12 steps that way. I haven't done it this time, but it's something that just occurred to me uh, while I was getting this ready that that would be something to try later. What's happening right now is, uh, well, I needed to test brains and make sure that it worked and that I had hooked it up correctly. And I think I did. We have, oh, just the life forms LFO is providing a clock, which I'm feeding into the QCD and multiplying and dividing it a bunch of ways multiplying it up times six I think to run grids which is controlling t -kick hat and triggering the envelope for the life form not using snare um, one of these clocks is clocking brains and then a, uh, I think a divided by five division I'm sending into the direction input so that the active stage is bouncing around. It's running forwards, then it's running backwards. And one of these outputs is going into the volts per octave of rings. And rings will strum itself when it receives a pitch change so, like, that's the only, you only need to patch one of these inputs, the strum, the volts per octave, or the exciter input. Uh, you can use all three, but it will work with just one of them. So that's what Rings is doing. Let me turn it up slightly. I am modulating a bunch of parameters um, most of them with the 4R random voltages that's being generated uh, according to one of these clocks down here I'm using Rampage to smooth one of them that's controlling brightness. I'm also controlling the damping and the position. Uh, so I think position is being modulated by the hypster down here, which is also modulating position on the microburst. Or no, that wouldn't be position, that is density. 
the position is remaining the same, but the density is being modulated. Then I've got the, like I said, life forms SV1 as being triggered by I'm pretty sure channel 2 yes because channel 2 is clocking sequence 8 and then the sequence 8 clock is coming back out and triggering this and I've got sine wave output going into Dresno which is linked to Yena. Bank three shape is being modulated by a 4R random voltage. And then that output is going back into the SV1 mixer. And that's that. channel one accent out which at this setting is exactly the same as channel one's main trigger out on grids I am using to trigger the uh, circuit bent VCO E950 if I remember its call letters call sign correctly the word is being modulated by Hypster. Output from the E950 is going into Trigotronic M669. And then I'm using the digital output from the E950 to gate a VCA, because uh, otherwise we'd hear Trigotronic noise constantly, but I only wanted it when a word was being spoken. And that's gonna be the swan. Turned out kind of interesting, I thought. It has a nice plodding beat to it that'll put you into a trance. So yeah, the brains module works and I've got an idea for how to use more of these rows and turn a four step sequence into an eight step sequence just with one pressure points. I could definitely do that because these switches have two inputs. Not sure how I could get the third row in. And I don't know if I would because the top row is a different voltage. This row goes up to eight and the bottom two only go up to five. They were intended for uh, for different purposes. Make, make noise made this with some specific application in mind. Anyway, I at this point am rambling, so let me bid you adieu. Farewell. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, places where you can give me money and see other content are on the screen as well as in the video description. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you all next time.